Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the herringbone single crochet stitch which creates a fairly unique pattern which you can see here in front of you. It almost looks as though it is braided. Now this, uh, this pattern comes out only on the one side. The back side still looks nice but it doesn't have quite that braided look that you get on the front side. So this is a herringbone single crochet stitch. Today in this tutorial I'm going to be using a 5mm crochet hook and a little bit of cotton yarn. I'll put links to both of these items in the description of this video. Also in the description you will find a direct link to the free written pattern which is on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. So thank you so much for joining me. While you're here, I invite you to subscribe, take a look around. This channel is updated weekly with free crochet patterns and stitch tutorials, such as the one that you see here. Our pattern today is worked in rows, and uh, after you're finished watching this video, I invite you to take a moment and let me know in the comments down below how you would use this stitch, or if you've used this stitch in a project. So we're going to start by working our slip knot, and then by making a foundation chain. Your foundation chain for this uh, stitch can be any multiple number of chains. Uh, and then just add one as a turning chain on your foundation chain. So it can be any multiple of stitches. I'm just going to crochet a few here and that should be good. So once you have your desired number of chain stitches, you're going to begin by working into the second chain from your hook and you're going to begin this row by working just a simple single crochet stitch. Now, for every stitch from now until the end, we're going to be working the herringbone stitch. Now, the herringbone single crochet stitches worked differently depending on if you are working from the right side of your fabric or the wrong side. So right now, we're working on the right side of our fabric. So to work the herringbone stitch, we're going to insert our hook in the vertical bar, I'm just going to remove my hook here. So when you look at the post of your stitch, you see this vertical bar here. You're going to insert your hook under that vertical bar and then also into the next chain stitch on your foundation chain. Yarn over and drop a loop. You'll have three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all three. That's the herringbone stitch. We're going to work herringbone stitches all the way across. So looking at the post of our stitch, we see this vertical bar here that's the furthest over. You're going to insert your hook under that vertical bar, then into the next chain stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two. Continue that all the way across, under the vertical bar, into, and I'm inserting my hook from the front through to the back, into the next chain stitch, yarn over, drop a loop, yarn over, and pull through all three. So continue that all the way across your foundation chain, and then at the end of your row one, you can chain one and turn your work. I am at the end of my row one, We'll chain one and turn your work. We now have the wrong side of our work facing and we want to work the herringbone stitches all the way across this row, but they're going to be worked a little bit differently this time. This time for when our wrong side is facing our row two, we're going to start by working a reverse single crochet into the first stitch. To work the reverse stitch, a uh, single crochet stitch, I find it easier just to kind of pull your yarn back towards you a little bit. Then you're going to insert your hook from back through to front of that stitch, the first stitch, yarn over, grab that yarn, pull it up through, yarn over, and pull through both loops on your hook. When I'm working these stitches, I find it easiest if my hook is facing away from me. 
We're now going to work the herringbone stitches across and this time those vertical bars are on the back side of our fabric. So we still want to pick up that vertical bar before inserting our hook under the next stitch. So again, this is the wrong side is facing. My hook is facing away from me. I'm going to insert it under that last vertical bar of the stitch I just worked. I'm then going to insert my hook from back through to front of the next stitch in my row. Going to grab a hold of that yarn, pull it up and through. I have three loops on my hook, yarn over and pull through all three. This is your reverse herringbone single crochet stitch. We are going to work a few more together. So again, my hook is facing away from me. I have my yarn kind of back here. It's not going to get in the way. I'm going to begin by inserting my hook under the horizontal bar of the post of the stitch I just made, or vertical bar, sorry. Then under, working from back through to front, inserting my hook in the next stitch. Grab a hold of my working yarn, yarning over, pulling through, three loops on my hook, yarn over and pull through all three. And again, insert your hook under that horizontal bar at the back of your work. Insert your hook from back through to front of the next stitch. Grab a hold of that yarn, pull it through and up. Three loops on your hook yarn over and pull through all three. Continue working those all the way across and at the end of your row two you can chain one and turn your work. At the end of row two chain one and turn your work. Now when you look at the front side of your work, you're going to start to see that braided effect coming through. Uh, as you work more and more rows, you'll see it come through even more. So I've chained one. I'm now working on the right side of my work. For the rest of the pattern, I'm simply repeating my rows one and my rows two. So I'll work a few more stitches of my row one. I'm going to begin with a single crochet into that first stitch just a normal single crochet and then my front herringbone stitches all the way across so inserting my hook under that vertical bar into the top of my next stitch working from the front of my fabric to the back yarn over pull through yarn over pull through all three repeat that all the way across chain one and turn then work my reverse single crochet and my reverse herringbone stitches all the way across for that uh, next row and uh, simply repeat those two rows uh, for the rest of your pattern fasten off weave in your ends and that is all there is to it so now that I've worked a few more rows you can see the pattern coming through so that's all there is to working the herringbone single crochet stitch thank you so much for joining me if you liked the video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to tell me uh, what kind of project you would use this stitch in Thank you so much for joining me, and I look forward to seeing you again next week for another great stitch tutorial. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye.